All right, what's going on everybody? Damien here, representing DNA. Uh, today is a very special day, for me at least. Um, right now it is 7.26 in the morning, Friday, July 24th, and we are outside of The Good Life Fitness. It's been a long day Without you, my friend, and I'll tell you all about it. And this is the first official day of reopening. I have a 7:30 workout, so I should probably get going. Um, yeah, uh, I'm excited, and I haven't had a. It's a leg day today for my first day back. I haven't had a swap bar on my back in since March, whenever uh, things officially closed down. So a long, long time, so I'm going to take it kind of easier on myself, obviously. Um, I suggest you guys do the same, you know, make sure you're not jumping right into things. If you are going back to the gym, I know a lot of people are kind of nervous and scared. I understand. I just can't. <laughs> I can't wait any longer. Um, but yeah, let's get this going. Alright, what's going on everyone? So we're in the gym now. It's a little bit weird. Not gonna lie. Um, I'll probably do a little montage of how the gym looks. You know, we have obviously signs all over the place like that. Uh, we're squatting right now. Uh, we're working up to about 50% of what we usually can work with. So I'm probably gonna stop it around two plates uh, for two sets of five reps. Um, first day back, obviously in a long time, so we don't want to completely tax ourselves out. Uh, but we do want to get a little bit of stimulation going, so that's the goal here. Um, and really for me, this session is about making sure that I'm getting all my cues down for my squat again. So making sure I'm bracing properly, um, that I'm driving my knees out, um, all those sorts of things, keeping my upper back um, tight, and yeah. Alright guys, so we're here with the voiceover now. Um, I'm going to go over a little bit of how squats felt and I'm going to be real with you guys uh, First few sets did not feel too great I think it was more of a mental thing for me because I had to warm up, warm up sorry at home um, Instead of at the gym and and then come to the gym and I did a few warm-up sets with the bar and with the plate uh, But it just felt different it felt off and it's just gonna have to be sort of an adjustment for me uh, with these one hour time slots that we have for our workouts um, usually my normal warm-ups are, you know, 15, 20, even sometimes 30 minutes before, um, you know, I start working out and I didn't have that before. So I think that just kind of messed with me and made me kind of feel off while squatting. Another thing was I wasn't able to really properly brace during my squats and you'll hear me talk about that in a second. Um, but it was a squat first, first squat session back in 15, 16 weeks. So, you know, there obviously are going to be some issues and uh, things to resolve, but uh, it will it will come back with time, I'm sure of it. Right. So, we, so we are a few sets in now of warm-up. Um, got a plate, 25 on the bar. Um, you can see how that feels. And yeah, go from there, really. I'm going completely raw, so no belt, no sleeves, no wrist wraps. Um, probably within the next few weeks, I'll start adding those things in, but for right now, I'm just keeping it like that. Okay, I hope my audio is clear. Because it is sort of loud in here. I haven't recorded in a gym with this camera yet, so hopefully the, the wind jammers are doing a decent job. But we are now on our last set. Um, I actually dropped the weight down to 185, so uh, back to a plate and a 25 each side. Um, 225 felt okay, but I was having trouble um, bracing, and I just figured it was just a safer and smarter bet to drop the weight and just practice that a little more, since that seems to be um, something I'm having trouble with right now, obviously after not having to do that for months. So yeah, so here's my last set.
Yeah. Do you remember where the Starbucks is? Um, closest. Do you this complex? No, there isn't. Um. Okay, day one in the books. That was actually a really good workout for an hour long, which I am not used to. So I don't know, like I just kind of got here and jumped in. But just to give you guys a little more context, I did warm up at home for about 15 minutes. If you guys know me and know like how I work out, my warm up is like a 20 to 30 minute thing usually. But because we only had an hour in the gym for actual workout time, I didn't want to waste that warming up. So what I did was I warmed up at home, did a little bit of foam rolling, did a little bit of stretching, and I was and I was really stiff because honestly I have not been stretching regularly um, during my time at home. Um, and then obviously hopped in my car, came here, did a few warm sets under the bar. Um, I probably should have done a little bit more, like maybe just done some more stretching and like dynamic movements at the gym, just just, just for a few minutes, because um, I was quite stiff. Um, I mentioned in the earlier clip I had troubles kind of bracing with 225 on my on my back. Actually, I kind of felt kind of off with all of them, but at the same time, like I don't know what else I was expecting. Like, can't be perfect, obviously, with this much time off. Also, it's 7:30 or it was 7:30 in the morning. I don't usually train in the morning. I was trying to before quarantine started, um, but I'm not really accustomed to that, especially after all this time off. I haven't even been up past or before 7 a.m. for, you know, who knows how long um, in reality. So um, that was a successful workout. I'm super happy. I broke a sweat. Um, and, yeah, I just felt overall really great. You know, I'm back here tomorrow for 11 a.m., so a little bit later because I can come in earlier. I'm going to try to stick to these early ones, 7.30. Um, even uh, maybe I'll come for a 6 a.m. one. We'll see. Um but yeah, successful workout. Just to give a little more context, because I'm sure some people might be wondering, okay, you know, how was, you know, how did you approach this first day back in the gym? So um, I kind of spoke to it a little bit. You know, I not going obviously full fledged, you know, back at it. Like, you know, I didn't take any time off, and honestly, I couldn't have. You know, once I got even a plate on my back, it felt kind of weird. So I couldn't even imagine having three or even four plates on my back. Um, like that would have crushed me, um, you know, cause I hundred percent lost some strength. Um, so I did approach it, you know, knowing that, you know, this is not my ego here. You know, this is me trying to get back into things as safely and, um, I'm doing things correctly. Um, so yeah, I came back into it, you know, only trying to work up to around two plates on the squat for sets of five. So low reps low weight um and that's going to progress each week uh adding weight and either increasing or decreasing reps obviously depending on you know what we're aiming for um and that's how i suggest for anyone else unless you know you haven't had really any time off you know you've been you've had access to a gym and i had access to you know relatively the same amount of weight you would have been using if you were at the gym um you know if you had a home gym or had access to a home gym um you know, if that's the case, then you really don't have to ease back into it as much or maybe at all. Um, but if you're someone like me who has obviously taken time away from real weightlifting and you've been using resistance bands and body weight training and even doing a lot of running, um, you know, you got to come back into it easier. And for someone who's taken complete time off, then really come back into it easier and reevaluate, you know, what your approach is. Um, and then after that, I just did some accessory movements. You guys saw some of those clips. Um, honestly, I didn't want to record too, too much. It was a little weird in there. I felt like for recording, honestly, maybe it was just me because I've never actually recorded with a actual camera in the gym. I've only ever used my phone because I got this camera during quarantine time. Um, and yeah, so maybe that was just me, but we will see how things go hopefully everything goes smoothly and day one is done